Hi VC, it's Andrea at The Vinyl Vlog here and today I'm going to do my entry for Psych in the Valley's 200 subs uh, contest which is Show Me Your Geographical. So he wanted us to show albums that have locations on the cover. So, you know, beaches, mountains and such. So I've got a good stack here and one CD and that's, you'll see why I've got the CD when I get to it. So I'm just going to find, try and find somewhere to balance them. I'm in a different filming location today. I'm actually in my, my book room. Uh, just because we're ha it's very noisy at the back because we're having some work done in the garden. So we're having the steps redone. Boring, I know. So I'm sitting up in the book room. So the first location, geographical um, one I've got is uh, some soundtracks. I've got soundtracks first and then other LPs. So the first one is the Sound of Music soundtrack, which of course has Julie Andrews and all the children and Christopher Plummer, Plummer standing in front of the Alps. I think it's the Alps. But there you go. So that's my first geographical. Definitely not something local. It's very hard actually to find some albums with geographicals on it because I don't actually have that many. Um, although pretty much all of what I've got is here apart from many new buys. <laughs> Which makes sense. The next one is another soundtrack and it's uh, South Pacific. So you've got the two stars. Um, whoever they are. I don't even know who it is these days. That's terrible. I think it's Mitzi Gaynor and somebody. Yes, it's Mitzi Gaynor. It's definitely Mitzi Gaynor. And of course they're standing in front of some palm trees on a beach with the sea in the background. Very, very nice thing. Oh, and on the back as well. Lots of seaside on the back as well. I like that. Reminds me of Cornwall. Or possibly Tenby. So the next one it is not a soundtrack, but it is um, Judy Garland live in London. Well, Judy in London it's called. And so on the front of this we have Piccadilly Circus. Back in the day. So there we are, Piccadilly Circus there. The big ads. This is one of those very odd albums that has one and three on the first LP and two and four on the second one or something like that. It's very bizarre. So there we are, Judy in London with London in the background. Next one is a sort of a location, but it's not a particular place you'd recognise. It is the um That'll Be the Day album from the film, or based on the film. Ringo Starr on the cover. They're at a fairground. So I'm going to use that as a geographical because it's a fairground. There. This was my mum's and I absolutely love this album. And the next one is one of my favourite bands and it's the Saw Doctors all the way from Toom. They're not in Toom, I'm going to say. They're actually on a beach somewhere at some sort of festival. That's definitely sand. So it may not be actually a beach, but it's somewhere where they put a lot of sand down for a festival and on the back you've got the actual crowds playing. Well, it's like Hereford Football Club, but I know it's not. But there you go. So the Saw Doctors all the way from Toom, definitely sort of a beachy scene. Um, it looks like a beach, but now I look at it, it looks more like gravel. So I'm going to say there is some sort of festival somewhere. So like I said, I've got lots of different ones here, completely different one. Another complete one is Elvis Christmas album. Again, this was my mum's, the Camden one. And we've got Elvis in front of some mountains and trees and snow. But it's a geographical because there's mountains there. <clears throat> Nothing on the back though. And the last actual LP I'm going to show you before I show you my cheat CD, because of what it is, is Orche Organisation by Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, which has a very, very atmospheric cover of mountains and seasides and you know it, it looks like it could be somewhere or it might be a, a river or a stream could be somewhere in the valleys you never know it's very pretty it's more likely to be like the lake district though but again just love it it's very atmospheric very nice geographical shot and the last one i only have on cd sadly in fact we have two copies of it on cd because we're that bad because we always forget what we've got and end up buying it again but there um, is an album called send away the tigers by the manic street preachers and it really has a geographical on it, so it's, I don't know if it will focus in on it. I wish I had an LP version, but there in the back is the new Seven Bridge. So I'm assuming this is on the Welsh side of the, the crossing, but this is the Seven Bridge, and I think it's the new Seven Bridge, looking at it. Quite ironic, though, to use a picture of the Seven Bridge, whether it's the new or old one for the Mannix, considering that, uh, that Richie Edwards parts his car at Seven Bridge and disappeared, and they, they think he threw himself off the old bridge. We don't know because he disappeared and he was never found, dead or alive. So who knows? 
So those are my albums that I am entering in the contest for Psych in the Valley's subs contest. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoy it. I'm loving making them and it gives me an excuse to listen to music. Not that I ever needed it, but it gives me an excuse to indulge my vinyl, vinyl vanity and I, I'm loving it. I'm just going out buying records. Cheap ones, more expensive ones, but mostly cheap ones all the time. So congratulations Psych in the Valley. I think your name's, I think it's Steve, isn't it? Love your videos. Love it when you say, oh, I went to Hay on Wild, or I went to Abergrenny and did this, or I went to Spillers and did this, because I know all these places myself, because I also live in Wales, South Wales. So love it. Keep up the good work, and I'll be tuning in to your next video as soon as you put it up. And I will see the rest of you soon. Bye.